What's going on, YouTube? Uh, citizens, so Hebrew Israelite brothers and sisters, PayPal, and all who stop by to watch my channel. And what's going on with you, Tommy? You know, I had to greet the family, the friends, visitors that, that watch me, but just as well as you. Actually, I want to, you know, do a video response instead of sitting, typing, making points through the commentary on the video. So I just thought I'd come on and just express like it's one-on-one. -on -one. All right. I, I actually, you know, when I came on here, I was actually about to zoom in in a category of, you know, the struggles in black relationships and I actually ran across this. So I was like, okay, you know, let me see what this is about. Because, you know, I seen the, uh, the pic or whatnot that was posted representing the video of the guy swinging the bell. So I'm like, okay, what's this about? Didn't see a title interested. Okay, cool. So, any who watched, watched the video and listened to some of your comments. And some of them I tend to disagree with when you said, one, uh, when children get beat at a young age, they grow up screwed up. You know, I try to be a spiritual brother, so I ain't going to say that actual words you said, but you know, you said F up, but I prefer screwed up, you know, but that, but anywho, but you said they grew up screwed up, grow up screwed up. Well, one can make the argument say, well, look at the Jackson 5, you know, Michael Jackson's dad beat his sons to success. Now, not justifying or condoning and saying that that's okay, that that's good parenting, but if it weren't for him being so strict on his sons, they would never be known today as the Jackson Five. Mike wouldn't be popular to this day still, even after his passing. So now one may make the argument, oh, Michael Jackson was screwed up. Look what happened to him. No, Mike made a song, you know, Have You Seen My Childhood? Mike was highly sheltered. He was highly, highly sheltered because he was one of the youngest. So when he became famous, y'all, you know, his childhood got taken away from him. So that's what kind of, I guess, made Mike the way he was. I mean, Mike still had women, but he didn't have a normal life. His life went into fame early. I mean, he went too early. When you go into Hollywood that early, your childhood is being taken from you because you're always on tour and, you know, you go into different interviews and stuff like that. So Mike and him, if you was to use that as an excuse, well, look at Mike. No excuse, because Mike went into Hollywood or into fame at an early age. Also, you said, also another example on beating don't screw every child up is, like you said, you know, black mothers and fathers. You know, my dad, he didn't, he disciplined me but not as much because it was so much love there and because of a lot of love being there that's why he liked to discipline me because he felt like him hurt me was hurting him because he had that great amount of love there but he did discipline me if things got out of hand or went too far because just being a good father like hey you know i can't allow that to go on, I can't allow that to happen because I think that would be a failure to me as a father not to punish him, punish you. So, hey, so that's why he did that. Now, mom, and yeah, you know, she was the more strict one and slap, yeah, newspaper, house shoe, as you name it. She just picked up whatever was what convenient in order to discipline me immediately to let me know, hey, you gonna get punished for this. You know, I can't allow this. So instead of going to find a belt or whatnot, it's whatever's convenient, I gotta take care of this immediately. Do I hate my mother for that? No. Because when I grew up and I saw people just talking back, disrespectful, rude, that deserve to get their butt whooped, then that 
let me know and cause me to reflect and think like, well, hey, man, I see why my mom beat me. So I want to act like them coming up. And the results of that discipline at a young age caused me to be responsible, start working, managing things, you know, making sure that I did what I was supposed to do coming up. And like I said, I grew up responsible. Instead of growing up living a lavish party life, you know, I did go out and I clubbed and, you know, stuff like that. But I ain't let it go too far. Why? Because in the back of my mind, even though when I got on my own became an adult, in the back of my mind was what was instilled in me as a child. Don't do anything that I'm going to, that's going to cause me to get in trouble. It was instilled in me. Even though I'm like, man, you know, if I want to, if I want to hang out and smoke weed, if I want to drink, even though I don't do that, but if that was the case, if I choose to, hey, I'm a, I'm grown I'm on my own, but still in the back of my mind is my mom's discipline and my dad's wisdom or, you know, advice or whatnot was still there. So when I got around people like that, that did that, even though I could do it because I was on my own adult now, I still chose not to because the way I was raised up. And in the scripture, paraphrasing it, but I know it's a train a child in a way they should go when they when they become older, they should not depart from it. So train a child, train up a way in a child, and when they become older, they should not depart from it. Yeah, something like that, similar to that. So it's saying, how you train when they're young, when they get older, it's going to stick with them. Because why is planting the seed? Like, it's planting, like, the dad that was whooping his daughters on that. Like, you can't go off from that particular incident, from that particular whooping. Why? Because his daughters may have done something prior to that. You know, he may have talked with them and talked with them and talked with them about different stuff they was doing. And when they made a twerk video put in on YouTube, the first thing hit his mind is they didn't went too far. You know, I'm not finna get embarrassed. I mean, what what do I mean, I say parents in general. I'm not going to say black parents. Well, parents in general, what do a parent whoop their child for when they get in trouble at school? What do you normally hear? You ain't finna be up here embarrassing me. You know, I got a con to take out my job and you embarrassing me by acting a fool in school. Because that parent knows that it, their child's foolishness in school reflects them. It reflects on them as if they not a good parent. It's poor parenting. But if a teacher threatens a child, and says, well, I'm going to call your mother. I'm going to call your father. And that child straightens up like, oh, no, out of fear. Then that automatically reflects on that parent as being a good parent. That, that parent disciplines their child well and taught them well when fear automatically all of a sudden comes when the teacher threatens to call their parents. Versus the one acting a fool and then make it seem like the parent is not raising their child properly. The reason they acting so foolish in school. So that dad, Mike, was venting on his daughters. When when a whooping gets that extreme, more than likely it's something that's been built up on the inside. You're not going to go that far unless it's been over and over and over. You know, if you listen to his words, see, you think I'm playing, y'all think I'm playing, you know, just listening to his words in where it seems as if it was things prior to that that happened. So you can't just look at that one incident and say, oh, well, yeah, man, he he, he wrong and he should have done that. You, you don't know his daughters. You might have a sweet, nice daughter. She seemed like she's sweet. I got a seven-year-old, about to be eight. But occasionally... <laughs> I mean, she she learning now, but there have been times where I wanted to, you know, jack up like look, young lady, because she having a smart mouth but learning it elsewhere. 
So no matter how much, you know, spoil kiss her and, you know, butter up, she can get around others or get exposed to things or other people where she le learned the wrong ways and bring it into the household or bring it around her parents. And she bring it around her parents or bring it around the household and is not approved of first having a talk with, not a beating or, you know, what not, having a talk with. But she constantly, consistently doing it thinking that it's funny, then it might lead up to jacking, a, you know, not like a boy, but it might lead to whooping up. It's like, hey, I don't want you, you know, now that right there is not tolerated. So you can talk and talk and talk, but you snap, you know, in that moment, you're not thinking about talking. You're not thinking about trying to be reasonable. You're thinking about punishment. Like there's over the limit. So that's where this father here, the way I look at it, is his daughters went over the limit by doing a, a twerk video on YouTube. That's embarrassing him because you probably have employee. I mean, some of everybody look at YouTube. YouTube is viewed all over the world. Okay, so you might have coworkers and some more watch this video of his daughter's twerking, so to speak, and he, you know, go to work, and here he got employees mocking and making fun of him, man, I saw your daughter's twerking, man, they did a good job, you know, I saw your your daughter's, you know, the way they split and this and that, what, and that's probably how he came about it, you never know, he probably came about it from somebody telling him about it, because he don't seem like the type of dad they may watch YouTube. I don't know. But that's probably how it came about it. Is somebody probably told him, I saw your daughters on YouTube shaking their butt, doing splits and all sorts of stuff. So he probably sat down and watched it. Like, let me see what they talking about. Then he's seeing it like, what? Those are my daughter. Bring y'all bleep bleep up in here. I can't believe you would come on this social network viewed by millions all over the world shaking your butt and now I gotta go to work getting mocked and made fun of because of my children on here shaking their butt like some trained strippers in a strip club. Like having I talk you should know better than this. Now if it was a first offense he might not have responded or reacted that way. But apparently it was not a first offense, the reason he would whoop his daughters like that. That's why I said if this was the first time doing it, he probably would have sat down and talked with her and be like, okay, now this surprising to me, you know, normally y'all don't do something like this, but this right here, I mean, y'all should know better. But I'm going to let this slide, but this is not approved of. But since this is a first offense, and y'all normally don't do stuff like this, I'm going to let it go because it's not horrible, but it is disgraceful. But I'm going to let it slide. But if I ever see something like this again, you're going to get dealt with. But this time, since y'all normally good girls and don't get in no trouble or do anything wrong, this something just not horrible. It's not porn. It's just you on here shaking your butts. But I don't, this ain't, this ain't, you know, approved of, but next time it's going to be handled differently. So are we clear on this? Do you understand me? Yes, sir. We understand that. Okay. This ain't acceptable now. Remember this, but I'm going to let it slide. But talk, 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 talk. They did this wrong. He talked to him. They did that wrong. He talked to him. They did this wrong, he talked to them. And then now you're on a video shaking your butt. All them other times, I, you know, I didn't had it. And all of a sudden, he lashes out. So, tell me. I understand what you're saying. But we all, all our children are different. You know, some of us got obedient, sweet children that it don't take much for them to get in line. You know, I grew up with cousins and smoke, and like I said, I got brothers and sisters. 
I know it's different when it comes to children. Some children, it don't take much in order for them to straighten up. You know, you have a stern talk with, and they get it. You know, I need to straighten up. I don't need to do this no more. But some children, you can talk with. You can try to be reasonable. You can try to ground them. That don't work. So sometimes it takes going to that extreme to where they realize that I really went overboard. I really should have done that. Because the reaction that I got out of my parents, I must really done something wrong. Because it was times when my mom went to that extreme. Well, I must really did something wrong. That she really thought that was bad or horrible. I didn't understand at the time. But when I got older and reflected on it, I was like, well, I deserved it. I wasn't looking at it like, man, my mom was so mean, so horrible. And I was looking at it like, well, I deserved it. You know, now I'm old enough to understand why she went to that extent. It's because I did something terribly wrong. And she didn't want that to be a part of my nature or my character. So beat it out of my nature, out of my character at an early age. So when I grow up, I'm going to think about the whooping that I got from her instead of the whooping that if I allow, if I continue to grow up being doing wrong and being around wrong doing people, I won't get a whooping from the police like Rodney King. So best to get it from the parents, the beat down from the parents at an early age, than getting the beat down on the male end from the police or his daughters getting the beat down from boyfriends that they date. So best dad do it than boyfriend do it. Oh, I'm making valid points, brother. So, so boyfriend won't beat her down for out there shaking or whatnot and hanging out in the streets and parading her body, this already been taken care of by dad. Dad beat him to the punch. So when she do get out there and date, she'll end up with classy men that won't beat her instead of with trash ones that will because dad getting a head start on it. So, you know, just wanted to <clears throat> come from a... a <clears throat> Excuse me there. Throw good let dry, but just wanted to come from a different perspective. You know, on daddy and as far as with the dad, because like I said you don't know what those daughters were doing prior to that. You don't know. Cause after he whooped one of them, he threw the belt down and just walked off. It's more like, you know, I'm sick of this. Like this is this is going overboard. So, yeah, so right now your daughter's seven, just like mine's. But who's to say what they are going to be at 17? Who's to say? You can sweeten and butter them up all day long while they're young. But when they get older and trying to impress their friends, as if that fatherly, daughterly love is too babyish, and they want to feel like they grown around their friends, it's going to be a whole new ball game. So right now, we both enjoy it. But when they get that teenage level, thinking they grown and thinking they don't need us anymore, even though they still under our roof and under our care, that's when it's a whole new light, brother. That's when your views are going to be different. Because then you're going to be on your, on your radio talk station saying, oh, my daughter, man, and her sassy mouth. I want to choke her sometimes. That look bleep more make me want to, you know. But right now, why is she all sweet and innocent? I never do that to my little angel, my little princess, me as well. Right now, yeah, my little princess, my little angel. But she get around 17, 18. It's going to be a whole new ball game. Whole new ball game. But tell me, you know, I said no disrespect. Your views are your views. I just want to, you know, kind of share from a different viewpoint that on, on the uh, father's end, as far as making them father of the year, I think that would be the reason why people made that coming is because he disciplined his daughters. 
you know, in a way where he's sending a message. Don't you ever do that again. Versus now, now you, you stop that now. You know, you are so bad and you, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Why the child steady doing it, steady doing wrong in their parent face and their parent now, now stop that. Now stop that. That ain't doing nothing. You just point your finger saying stop it. But what this dad did, that says a statement. Dad came out like a leaping panther or something on his daughters. Letting them know, don't you ever do that again. And they ain't going to forget that whooping for the rest of their lives. So, hey, work for me. <laughs> and I don't hate my folks for it. Because me coming up older, knowing that I did wrong and realizing it was wrong, he didn't screw me up. So, I'm going to leave that there, bro. And um, to my viewers, subscribers, and friends, peace be unto y'all. Of course, Christ for life. Yeah.